Understanding Land Lease Agreements. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's lesson on understanding the term land lease. It's great to have you here as we dive into this common yet often misunderstood concept used in real estate. Whether you're learning English for business, law, or just for personal knowledge, grasping the meaning of phrases like land lease is vital. So, let's get started on unfolding what it really means and how it's used in everyday English. A land lease refers to an agreement where one party allows another party to use a piece of land in exchange for rent. This term is important in both everyday and business English as it relates to real estate and property use. The lesser is the owner of the land, and the lessee is the person or entity that rents the land. The lessee pays the owner for the right to use the land for a specific period, which should be clearly stated in the lease agreement. This concept is akin to renting an apartment, but instead of a building, it's a piece of land that's being rented out. There are various types of land leases, and understanding them can help clarify the kind of usage and responsibilities involved. Ground leases. A ground lease is a type of long-term land lease. The lessee can develop the leased land by constructing buildings or making other improvements. This is common where businesses lease land for long periods, sometimes up to 99 years. Sublease. A sublease is when the original lessee rents out the land to another party. This arrangement requires the lessor's approval and should abide by the terms set out in the original lease agreement. Agricultural leases. Agricultural leases are used by farmers and ranchers to expand their operations without purchasing more land. They're tailored to suit farming needs and might include terms about the type of crops or livestock. When discussing land leases, there are several key components that one should be aware of. Lease term, the duration of the lease agreement. Rent, the amount the lessee will pay to use the land. Use of land, what the land can be used for under the lease. Maintenance, who is responsible for the upkeep of the land. Improvements, how the lessee can alter or improve the land and what happens to those improvements at the end of the lease. Understanding the benefits and drawbacks of a land lease is crucial. Benefits. Flexibility. Lessees can use the land for different purposes without owning it. Cost effective. It can be more affordable than buying land, especially for commercial use. Drawbacks. Control. Lessees have less control over the land than owners. Instability. When the lease ends, the lessee may need to renegotiate terms or vacate the land. We hope this video has helped clarify what a land lease is and how it functions within the realm of English vocabulary related to property and law. Understanding such terms can enhance your English communication, especially in professional contexts. If you have any questions or want to learn more about similar phrases, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.